we are given a parallel plate capacitor that is constructed of two horizontal 12 centimeter diameter circular, circular plates. A one gram plastic bead with a charge of negative six nanocoulombs is suspended between the two plates by a force of electric field between them. Which plate, the upper or the lower plate, is positively charged? And what is the charge on the positive plate? So the first uh, question, the top plate in a capacitor is always positively charged. So let's draw that out first and see what this problem looks like uh, before we attempt to solve it mathematically. First we'll understand conceptually. So a uh, capacitor, let's say this is the top positive uh, electrode and this is the bottom negative electrode. There is a negative six nanocoulomb point charge uh, somewhere in between and there is a force of gravity acting down and it is balanced by a force uh, electric um, in the opposite direction. So this point charge is between the two capacitors somewhere here. Um, so there we know that the we're dealing with 12 centimeter diameter electrodes. Each is a circular electrode of 12 centimeters in diameter. Therefore, the radius is uh, 6 centimeters or 0 0.06 meters is the radius. And so we can calculate the area of the uh, electrode as pi r squared, which is pi of 0 0.6 the whole square, which is 1.13 times 10 to the negative 2 meters. So the top plate is positive charge. That's the first question. So we already answered that. Next question is, um, we know that the mass of the bead, the plastic bead, is one gram or 0 0.001 kilograms. That's what we know. The next thing that we know is that the F electric must equal the F gravitation, the force gravitation, because it's it's stationary. All right, it's not. It's suspended. By suspended, they mean it's stationary, so it's not going anywhere. So these two must be equal, and the force of gravity is nothing but mass times the acceleration due to gravity. So we know the mass as 0 0.001 kilograms, and we know acceleration due to gravity is 9.8 meters per second square. Now this leads us to a value of 9.8 times 10 to the negative 3 newtons which now we can set equal to our force electric of Q. Force electric is the, the charge times the electric field. That's the formula. Force electric equals charge times electric field. And so now we have this. And we know that the charge is given to us as a negative 6 nanocoulomb. So uh, our electric field is E is equals to 9.8 times 10 to the negative 3 newtons divided by our charge, our point charge, which is uh, 6 times 10 to the negative 9 coulombs. So uh, once we calculate this, we end up with a value of our electric field as 1.63 times 10 to the 6 newtons per coulomb. That's the value of an electric field. And now from a, from since we found out what the value of the electric field is, now uh, from the electric field equation, which is um, the electric field equals the charge on the electrode times the permittivity constant times the area of the electrode. So now we can find out what Q is, which is what we wanted to find out in the first place. So Q equals E, uh, electric field times epsilon naught, permittivity of free space times area. Um, so this is 1.63 times 10 to the 6 newtons per coulomb. Uh, the permittivity constant is um, 8.85 times 10 to the negative 12. And the area uh, is pi um, 
r squared, which is pi of 0 0.06 squared. So we have to find out what this value is, and we end up with a, a value of 1.63 times, times 10 to the negative 7 coulombs. And that's um, the charge on uh, the positive the positive plate of the electrode and the charge in the negative plate would be a negative we would have a negative value here